In Toon Boom Storyboard Pro, you can move and manipulate the camera in two different ways. One is by using a static camera, which means the camera isn't going to move, but we still want to change it in some way. And the other is with an animating camera, where the camera itself moves either as a pan or a truck out or a twist, something like that. So right now we're going to look at making a change to the static camera. And the way to do that is first go into one of the areas where you have the camera view. That would be uh, right now we can see it within the timeline view, but more commonly I would use it from the drawing workspace. I will go over and select the camera tool from the toolbar. And now you've seen that this rectangle has changed and it has a little handle in it now. And what we could do with this rectangle is change the size of the camera frame. Take, keep an eye on this thumbnail down here and you'll see how it changes. So if I want to make the camera tighter, I just grab that corner and drag it inward toward the center. And you can see the thumbnail updates so that we can actually see what the frame will look like with that new camera. For me, if I want to pull it outwards, I just grab that corner, that little handle, and you can see the symbol has changed. There it is. And I drag it outward, and now this will make the camera bigger. So watch down here, and you can see it just changed. If you need to get more room, use the plus and minus symbol, and this just moves you back away from the artwork. It's not changing the size of the artwork at all. So again, you can keep pulling that back to make it a super, super wide shot. You can also move the camera. Well, let me drag it back in first. Drag it back in. And you can move the camera, but you'll see that there is uh, a heavy dot right in the center. And if you move your cursor in, you will see uh, a crosshairs with the letter C, and that means you can move your camera. It's by picking it up and dragging it. Now that I've done that and I've dragged it, you can see the thumbnail gets updated to reflect that. So that always happens. It can really give you a good view of the changes that you've made to the camera. Sometimes it takes a little while for that to update. It just depends on how powerful your computer and your video card are. After you've made any sort of change to the camera, the outline of that camera is now going to turn green and it'll, it will remain green. But if you want to reset the camera to where it was before, you can go up to Storyboard and then pan all the way down until you find Reset Camera. There it is, Reset Camera. And when I do, the uh, camera has returned to its original state and it also no longer has that green background on it. Another way that you can move the camera using the static camera is instead of making it bigger or smaller or moving it is by rotating it. So if you move your cursor up to the corner, you'll see a rotation symbol and you can just click and drag in the direction that you want to go and now the whole camera has been tilted. Now right now you see it in the preview as a tilted camera, but as you'll see when we export these to either PDF or a bitmap image, uh, the image is automatically going to be tilted so that this frame is perfectly straight and that the drawing inside is tilted, which of course is the way that you want it to go. One really great camera option that I use all the time is that you can copy and paste a camera position. So for example, take a look here. I have one shot of this guy and then later after another scene I have a similar camera set up for additional poses. So if I'm going to change the framing because I think that it's too tight, I'm probably going to want to change the framing in other scenes too. So let's start with changing the framing on this first drawing. First of all, I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I want to be able to see what I'm doing. I'll grab the camera tool and then I will drag this out so that it's quite a bit wider, which we can see if we look at this. We can see that now this framing is wider than it was before. But now I want to copy this camera position and apply it in other panels. So if I go up to Storyboard and then Copy Camera, then I've copied the camera from this panel because it's the one that's selected. So now I can go to any other panel and 
select that panel and now go to storyboard and hit paste camera and take a look at that thumbnail as I paste it in and now it has reframed both of those panels. One thing that's new about the camera tool and it's also very important to notice is that once I select the camera tool and I go to make a change the change that I make to the static camera in one panel of the scene is going to apply through the rest of the scene. So you can see from this purple area that these three panels all belong to one scene. So when I made the change here at the beginning, it also automatically changed the framing for the next two panels, which of course is totally appropriate. It saves you a step from what had been done before. We used to have to cut and or copy and paste the static camera, and now it works automatically.